So many John Long guys, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. This is chapter 39, and when we last left off, we had just started a new sequence block here. And uh, before we got too far into that, I had to end the video. Timer's up. I have zero florins in my village chest, apparently. <laughs> right on. Uh, in any case, though, I did some stuff off screen here. So let me. Yeah, no, I don't know why that popped up. Um, yeah, like I said, I did some stuff off screen. So let's check in with uh, Claudia real here. You here and, to look um, at the book? We'll see what's going on. So I have 95% completion now. Making 14,258 florins every 20 minutes. It's the overview here. The first two things never change. Collection. So I have 81 of a 100 feathers. That's right. Off screen, I went back and collected the feathers. Um, at one point, when I deposited all the flowers, or flowers, feathers, I don't know what the threshold value was. I'm thinking probably 50 of 100. But like I said, I just collected them all and then deposited as a lump sum. So I have no idea. Anyways, uh, I finally seen the uncle, Mario, and he came in and he said uh, basically what happened in a little cutscene there was that he said it wasn't going to work. Um, it doesn't matter how many feathers I collect, it's not going to help my mother. And then he said that um, he would give us the opportunity to get a new weapon. And so I had to go to the blacksmith in town here, but I was able to pick it up. It was a war hammer. So now I have all the weapons collected. The only thing I'm missing is one piece of the... Uh, Missa Gladius armor set and I think that was the shoulder pads as for the collections like I said I have pretty much everything else I'm missing two codex pages um what would that be 19 feathers and uh the portraits of the targets I assassinate my throat's actually sore so if I start not talking as much like more than usual it's probably why but I'm gonna play through it obviously because why not so, real quick, this is what I unlocked. The Conditorio Warhammer. It's not a bad blunt weapon, but... I mean... I'm not really a fan of the blunt weapons, to be honest. Um, but yeah, no. So anyways, if I go to start here, DNA... As you can see here, I got all the feathers in Florence. The villa was already done. Tuscany. Uh... Forlai, and... Romagno, or Magna, and then 27 of 46 in Venice. I have all the, fl uh, I'll keep wanting to say flowers, all the feathers in the districts that we've unlocked. There's still two more districts to unlock in Venice. So, uh, we'll see. In any case, though, let us head back into Venice. We, uh, unlocked assassination contracts, and I miscounted. There's actually four contracts left, not just, uh, three. So, We'll see if I get one mission or two mission out of this, and then, uh, yeah. Besides that, though, the, uh, there's not really anything else to do besides the assassination contract. So after we finish that, it's back to the main missions again. Which is nice, because I didn't think that this series was going to take this many videos. Not that that's a down, a bad thing or anything. It's just, like I said, I didn't think we were going to be... Like, I'm on chapter 39 right now i'm gonna be on chapter 40 by the time i finish this and i'm not finished the game yet like it's pretty expensive or pretty expensive extensive rather like the first assassin's creed game we played i think it only took me i want to say just under 20 chapters it was like 18 chapters or something weird like that i think those uh episodes were longer though but still I mean, there definitely is a lot more to do in this game compared to the first game, so. <clears throat> no laughing matter. Several of Archbishop Salvati's uh, fellow conspirators are trying to hide from justice. They have taken advantage of Carnival to disguise themselves as Harlequins. Find them among the revealers and strike them down. Lorenzo. That was actually one of my favorite skin, uh, skins playing online with the Harlequin skin. You got it for buying, like, a... I don't want to say deluxe edition, but a special edition of uh, Brotherhood. It was probably—I think it was back in Revelations as well. I don't know. Like I said, I was actually very pleasantly surprised about how the multiplayer was in the Assassin's Creed games. Um, like I said, I think Brotherhood was a gift given to me for like my birthday or something, and um, I almost fell off that roof. Brotherhood was a gift given to me for my birthday, and 
I had played the first game a little bit, but I hadn't beat it at that point because I didn't actually own the first one. So I kind of knew what Assassin's Creed pertained to. But uh, let me say, Brotherhood did, did not disappoint. I was actually really happy with it. That um, I went out of my way to buy Revelations when it came out. And again, I wasn't disappointed with that either. Like, Revelations was a really good game. I've heard that it's slowly gotten um, downhill from time. Like I've heard the new ones aren't that good. I've never played them, so I have no idea if they, you know, how they how they live up to the Assassin's Creed series and to past games, but. All I know is I'm gonna play them all. Even the, uh, like, the Assassin's Creed Syndicate in India, China, all that stuff too. I'm gonna play those ones. Well, judging from where I am, I might as well go all the way down for that first, uh, kill down there. And I'll backtrack. Just trying to see if there was an easier way to get across, but last there was not. Still rocking Altair's armor for obvious reasons. I mean, it's the best armor in the game for one. For two, it's cool as hell. I'm only visiting. I don't know Isn't there a decency law that applies to Death. just such on him. Fuck him. Sorry. Really? Because I'm pretty sure that's not who I wanted to assassinate. I'm only visiting. There we go. I am not dealing with that. Just because there's that brute there too. Better climb faster, Ezio. They're going to throw some crap at you. Don't worry. I was just going to wait around up here for a minute just so I lost their interest. The best thing about this sequence, though, if you guys missed it in the last one or missed it in the beginning of this one, is that because the carnival is going on, I actually have a carnival mask, which means that, you know, I fall off roofs when I assassinate people, or almost do in any case. But it also means that uh, I can't get um, notoriety. So I'm going to be completely anonymous for this entire uh, sequence. I plan to take full advantage of that. I'm going to abuse the hell out of that. It's like right underneath me. There. Look at all the guards there. Like, Jesus. Tell me that isn't crazy. He was just about to try to run, too. Go this way. <clears throat> I was gonna say there's no way they follow me here, but apparently, there we go. Apparently there was. They were bound and determined to find me. They just weren't that observant. Yeah, it was kind of annoying, uh, back to the feathers, though. It was kind of annoying to find the feathers in some of the areas. But I sat there, and I looked through them, and, uh, I had a guide with me. Basically, I just went feather to feather, and if I didn't see it, I assumed that I didn't have it. But I made sure, like, that I was, you know, at least 98% sure that that feather wasn't there before I moved on. For obvious reasons, I mean... Like I've mentioned before, it's hard when you do collectibles because uh, if you miss one and then you try to use the guide, and you know, then it just becomes a big hassle. Where is he? He is right there in the middle there. Um, ooh, another one, good. 
Gotta knock these all out. I took another quick look just to make sure. And yeah, there's no other Uplay rewards except for the uh, Altair costume. And there's also a desktop background too, which uh, I could have probably took that and used that for the uh, the thumbnail. But I didn't realize until after the fact. And I'm not going to... I actually have no... Well, maybe. I don't know. May or may not download it and just have it anyways. But in any case, though, uh, the only other thing is the Altair's costume. And like I said, I'm probably not going to get that just because I'm not really interested in wearing it. Crash a party. One of Francesco de Pazzi's cousins is throwing a party. Find the location of the party by tailing a guest. Once there, kill the host. I'm sure the guests won't miss him. Lorenzo. There she is right there. I'm gonna start heading over this way. We already know where she's gonna well, not where she's gonna go, but what direction she's gonna go rather. Almost fell off that roof. going back down. Screw that. Damn. She got distracted by the body, which isn't a bad thing. It's just she's going to take some time to look over at it first and then back to her path. I mean, I can see her game. <laughs> I think she has her own personal bodyguards too, unless those guys are just coincidentally following behind her. Which could be, I haven't really been watching her specifically. Although I think I know where the party is now. No, they were just walking in that direction, ironically. Alright, let me get back up there. I'm gonna cross over. Positive, she's coming over here. You echo of death. Yeah, she got distracted, is all. See if I can, can't get a better view. Easy peasy. Dock there. No one even noticed. Just like that. There's a reason I'm called Cyber Ninja. You know. Sometimes, anyways. <laughs> Other times I might just make a mess of things. 
But like I always say, I mean, hey, sometimes it's fun to, you know, improvise. Keyword being sometimes, other times just annoying. Better play it safe. I could probably make that jump, but if I miss, I'm gonna have to climb back up. <laughs> All right, we're back. Game crash there. I have to do this uh, journey again, but that's fine. At least it's not like Psychonauts. I don't have to worry about the game crashing like every 10 minutes. That I love that game. It was an extremely fun game. I loved playing it, loved recording it. It was just unfortunate that I had to uh, deal with that. That was the only thing that not ruined the experience, but made the experience a little more unpleasant. But that's in no no fault of the own or no fault of its own the game's fault. So I don't like hold the game against that. Or rather to it, I should say. I don't know. Looking at it now, I don't think I would make that jump. Not from there, at least. I could make this jump from that roof to probably that trellis. Or at least, for sure, that post below it. But All right, Let's try this again. See what kind of quest I get. Or rather, assassination contract I get. False legacy. A v uh, Venetian condottiero has kidnapped several artists and is forcing them to depict him as a war hero. Do not <laughs> getting tongue tied now. Do not let him distort history in such an obscene fashion. Kill him. Afterward, I'll afterward, I'll contact the artists. I need them to decorate my family's crypt. Lorenzo. Let's see if we can't find this guy. You better be in this district, though. That's all I'm saying. In before, I have to, like, go across the way to that other district. Where the, uh... The doge got assassinated. The doge, however you pronounce it. Pretty sure I can cross up here from rooftop to rooftop. Definitely on that side. Yep, this side too. These roofs are slippery, that's for sure. Uh, let's go this way. Possibly. Like I'm backtracking a little bit. I have to cross over here and cross back over on the other side. You have no reason to be to kill it. See, if I didn't have this mask, I'd have so much notoriety. Right there. He needs a brute too. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna go on the rooftops there, take out these two archers, and then I'll go from there. You belong down, baby. He's here. <laughs> I'm gonna make this easy on myself. I actually don't care about looting him. Mm. 
Who saw what the Easier? I mean, I'm gonna make it tougher on myself. Did you see all the guards there? There is at least like 20 guards there. That was uh, kind of brutal. They're gonna follow up me. Follow me up pretty quickly. So I'm gonna have to get crack lacking. Looks like that was it. Just want to scan the map to make sure there's nothing else here, and there's not. So onward with the story. Once I get right away from these guys. Don't do it, my dude. Don't do it. Told him not to do it. You have no reason to. Aha! Merda, bring it! I'll take the quick way out. Can get over this fence, right? Yeah, I can. <clears throat> Wasn't sure. Sometimes games handle fences weirdly. What I mean by that is sometimes you just can't get over a fence for no good reason. Usually fences are like invisible walls. Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come! Join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. Ah! Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Mr. Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Damsels in distress. Chase down and kill the murderer. Easy. He went that way. Don't come any closer. Or I will carve up another one. Well, I can't really. Don't make me kill again. What the moon? Where the hell are you? Get away from me! Fucking guards, move out of the way. You're good for nothing. <laughs> When there's an actual crime, you just do nothing. I would kill them. I swear it. It wasn't my fault. And of course, I had to. I had to be right in front of a band. Okay. This is getting a little too hot for me. They're not gonna find me under here. Where's your hole, little mouse? The next mission's over there. So we'll just wait for things to cool down and then I'll head over. Just like that. One of those messengers. Well 
I'm not in the district direction. I'm all like backwards right now. Thought I was still in that district. Gratitude, Edson. Why is it wherever you go, trouble follows? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. Okay, none the, none the wiser. Good God. Speak with Tatori about Marco Bar Barjo. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women. I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional. But men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. All right, let's see if we can't win these games then. Signori, signori! Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies! Here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. Ribbon roundup. Obtain more ribbons than the comp uh, competition from the ladies of Carnival. How do I get these ribbons? Like, 